While our beast is being entertained, let's try and sharpen that blade a bit. At least we know he won't be running off for a while. If we don't take care of that pest, the camp won't last the night. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, my name is Leo and you're watching the Argent Leo's gaming channel. Today we're playing Monster Hunter World and on a hunt for the Kulu Yaku. To return to base from an expedition. Open the wildlife map and switch to the world map, then select Astera. In order to find the beast, we first need to track it. Hence, picking up its footprints in the forest. Relying on the scout flies to assist us with tracking. Finally, back on the trail, thanks to the scout flies. As you can see, once on the trail, the scout flyers will lead you from one footprint to the next. The tracking may take some time. And in time, we do finally find it. And we can take it on. The Kulu Yaku tends to strike and charge. Strike and then charge again. The 
the weapon that I am using is called an insect lathe. Not only does it control an insect that assists you in battle, but it also allows you to leap high into the air during attacks. If used correctly, it can assist you in leaping high into the air and landing on the beast's back. From where you can safely launch a savage attack without the risk of him injuring you. Down. Now's your chance to get in there and tear it up. Once the beast is knocked down to the ground, you can try and take him out. When the beast is mortally wounded, they do tend to get quite aggressive. Try and avoid these attacks by either rolling or if you're using the insect blade. Try leaping into the air as often as possible, striking and leaping again. If you can land on his back, that would be a bonus. And he managed to run off again. Try to stay as close to him as possible because if he does get away from you, he will have the time to recover. And this means your battle will start all over again. Once the beast has been severely injured, he will be extremely aggressive. A good strategy when using the insect lave? Try to get airborne as often as possible. The Kulu Yaku has an awesome attack, where he would then pick up a boulder and ram you with it. Sometimes a direct hit can leave you dazed. Luckily we've got help from Hex to smack some sense into us. Man, this guy's tough. And he is off again. When beasts run off, they tend to attract unwanted attention. However, this could work to your advantage, as you could note on the map where future beasts may be found. Like this guy over here, Arathalos, and I will take note that I saw him in area number 5. And once we've evaded Rathalos, our pursuit may continue. A quick strike and the battle is on again.
He takes off yet again. And the battle is on again. Let's see if we can take him out this time. The insect glaive also allows you to mark your target, pinpointing areas where your insect should attack. Our best strategy is trying to mount him again. And we're not successful there. And we've managed to mount him again. Seems like we've knocked him into a daze. And he's managed to get away from us yet again. Don't attempt to engage a monster when your weapon has lost its sharpness. Your attacks will be weak and easily deflected. It takes a lot to take this guy out. Timing is everything. The color of the meat and the song are clues. So that was rough. And he's off yet again. Shame, he's got quite a nasty lump. Sorry, guy. But we've got to take you out.
Man, <laughs> talk Close. about being inappropriate. Stop cooking! Guess you need to keep drilling your drilling. The aggressive chef. We need to sharpen that blade as soon as we get a chance. It's still in a daze. But we need to take advantage of the daze. Ah! Man, decisions! <laughs> Let's just wing it, take advantage of this daze while we have it. And keep on beating him. Until he does that. Man, this weapon is quite useless once it gets blunt. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I'll be so disappointed if we die right here. Uh. Wow, he's never done that before. Come on. If we can just get onto his back again. Man, he's getting away again. That's what I get for swinging all willy-nilly and letting the pressure off. Gave him a chance to escape. Man! While our beast is being entertained, let's try and sharpen that blade a bit. At least we know he won't be running off for a while. Looks like he's making his way to his lair. Usually when a beast returns to his lair in a battle, he's almost done for. Let's try and take him out.
Is this dude having a snack in the middle of a battle? Let's hope it's his last meal. And finally, the Kuluyaku is defeated. Man, that was a lengthy battle. <laughs> but lots of fun. Guys, we are coming to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it has encouraged you to try Monster Hunter World. My name is Leo and you have been watching the Argent Leo's Gaming Channel. As always, it has been a pleasure bringing you guys this video. Please do like, subscribe and share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Leo signing out for now. Bye-bye.